Hello beautiful people, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to try a new foundation from Lancome. So I work with Amazon Beauty, I partner with Amazon Beauty and work with the Amazon Affiliate Program. They sent an email out saying that Lancome now sells on Amazon. They have a legitimate storefront and everything. So I was looking through the products and I saw that they had this new foundation here. It's their Tant Idol Ultra Wear, but in a glowier finish. So my sister first told me about this foundation, the Tant Idol Ultra Wear years back she loves it for me i personally never really cared for it i have very dry skin and i just wasn't crazy about the finish it was a little bit too satin matte for my liking so i honestly rarely reached for it but now they came out with a new version of that in a care and glow finish so i'm hoping this has a glowier finish it sells for 57 dollars. i got it on amazon again legitimate and everything and this one has a white cap with their little gold emblem on top. Feels very luxe with the glass bottle and everything. And it has hyaluronic acid in it, mandelic acid, SPF 27. So that's what we're gonna be trying in today's video. I got mine in shade 240W because I have a little bit of a tan going on. So I kind of try to color match as best as I could. I already have all my skincare on. I never wear primers, honestly. Like never wear primers with my foundation. I'm just one of those people I feel like you either wear primer or you don't. I don't, so I'm just gonna go right into it. And we're gonna give it a try. Usually what I'll do is kind of do a few dabs. So this is the shade 240W, by the way. This is kind of how it swatches. 240W's description is light with warm peachy yellow undertones, which I kind of like to go for more yellow peachy undertones, even though it seems like my face is pink. The weird thing is that my face is more pinky than like the rest of my body. So I try to match my face to the tone, the color tone of my the rest of my body. So I'm gonna do a light layer first, and then we're gonna go from there. We're gonna see, I mean, this was honestly not a lot. This is probably not enough, but from what I remember from the original formula, it was pretty uh, decent coverage. It was like a medium coverage. It wasn't very light, and I don't really like heavier type coverages because I feel like they can get cakey on my face. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit and then we'll build it up if we need to. But it seems to blend out so easily. It does have like a floral scent to it, which honestly I am not crazy about. Sometimes I like a scent, but this, I feel like it might give some people a headache. I don't know, so keep that in mind. It's not like crazy crazy, but it's definitely there. So this was a very, very light layer. So far, so good. It's blending well. It has pretty decent coverage, like light medium, I would say. It doesn't seem to dry too fast, so you're able to blend it and not have to worry about it being hard to blend in, so it blends easily. Let me get a mirror, and we're gonna like look up close and personal and see what we're working with. My daughter was like messing with my mirror, so it's all dirty. Honestly, it seems pretty good. So if you have dry skin, by the way, I have very dry skin, but I try to take care of it, keep it moisturized. I would say start off light, like with a light layer, and then if need be, work your way up. I am seeing some separation, like on my nose. This is where I have a lot of dryness, especially right now we've been out in the sun. So it's like peeling a little bit, even with sunscreen use. But I don't know if you can see a little bit of separation on the nose. So let me apply a little bit more, like on the cheeks, just to give it more of a full coverage finish. A little bit on the forehead. Okay, this foundation also says it has up to 24 hour wear, which I don't know, like up to 24 hour healthy glow skincare foundation which I don't really understand because I don't know who's out there wearing their foundation for 24 hours. I don't know, maybe if you need it, I just can't think of a situation. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a reach. I'm trying to like pat it in a little bit. From a distance, it looks really nice. Still looks like my skin, but it gave me a pretty decent light medium coverage. The color I would say is actually very spot on for what the description was, so I'm happy with that. The only thing is around like the nose and a little bit on the forehead. I haven't even set it yet. Well, the forehead's still kind of okay. I'm the kind of person where I need it to look as skin-like as possible even when I'm talking to somebody close face-to-face. -face. Like I don't like the feeling of thinking like I have dry patches all over my face and my face looks cakey. So I usually stay away from foundations that are too heavy. 
this one I feel like it's okay so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer I'm gonna set it add some bronzer maybe some blush and just do my makeup like I normally would and I'll show you guys the finished result once I'm done and then I'll try to wear it for the entire day and then see how it wears as well because I think that's the most important thing all right I did my full face of makeup how I usually would here is an up close of the end result the products sit beautifully on top of this foundation I will say that like my bronzer blended really well sometimes some foundations can make it look patchy here's what it looks like from far away so it still looks like my skin like I don't feel like it looks cakey by any means I'm just interested to see how it's gonna wear for the entirety of the day so right now it is 12 22 and I usually take off my makeup around like 8 9 p.m. so I'll probably check it once midday and then one more time before I take off my makeup at the end of the day but so far I'm very happy with this foundation I wanted to show what it looks like in the sun outside look up close I wanted to do a check-in it is 3 45 so a little over three hours I was sitting outside for a bit and I would say so far so good it seemed kind of looks exactly the same as when I applied it usually after a few hours a lot of foundations that are on the drier side or have a bit of a or have more full coverage for my dry skin they tend to like really start to settle into lines but I would say it's actually holding up pretty good there are some places like the nose is breaking up a bit but even initially the nose my nose had a lot of dryness because I have a lot of dryness going on there right now so the nose is like breaking up a little bit and then a little bit around the mouth like with eating and stuff and here this is what like the forehead looks like but overall I would say it's holding up quite well especially we're in Texas right now it's about 70 something degrees so it's a warmer nice sunny warm day and I would say it's, you know, it's holding up, holding up pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with it so far. So I'll probably check in maybe one more time before I take it off at the end of the day. But I just wanted to do um, one check in midday. So far, so good. All right, you guys, it is 7.52. So this is going to be my final check in before I finish off this video. And overall... I am actually pleasantly surprised and very happy with this foundation. I personally have dry skin, but I don't have a damaged skin barrier per se. If you have dry skin, but you have dry flaky patches that you're dealing with, then I probably would avoid this foundation because I feel like it would emphasize it a little bit. Like I have a little bit of dry patches on my nose from the sun. So that area right here kind of has a little bit of separation. But overall, I'd say my skin barrier is doing pretty good, even though I do have dry skin. It didn't settle into any fine lines. Like, I have fine lines on my forehead. I have pretty prominent crow's feet that sometimes products can re really settle into. And I would say it did really well in that area as well. Um, there is a little bit, like, right here, separation right here. Like, in the cheeks. I don't know if it's... Let me zoom in, actually, because I feel like this is such a weird angle. But, like, right here. Actually, I don't even know if it's picking up on camera. But I'm seeing it a little bit in the mirror. Like right here, it's looking, you know, it's looking okay. It's not looking flawless. But then again, this is foundation. You know, it's not going to look 100% like your skin. You're going to be able to see a little bit of something. But at the same time, I feel like it does a pretty good job of making my skin look like skin while covering up. Like it has light medium coverage, I would say. So overall, honestly, pretty happy with it. If you have dry skin, I think you might like this. Just make sure you don't have any dry patches. That would be a concern. It's not my all-time favorite, favorite luxury brand foundation. I would say my all-time favorite is probably still Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I love the original. I think you will like this one even more. Like I feel like this one's a little bit more supreme because it feels like it doesn't have... Well, it depends what you're looking for, I guess. But I like how this one kind of has like a little bit of glow to it. Just a smidge. Nothing crazy. And it has like skincare ingredients in it. So I'd say it's worth a try if you love the original. But that's just my opinion. Right, so. so that kind of sums up my thoughts and opinions and a full day's wear of this foundation. It's always hard doing first impressions because I feel like the more you use a product, the better you get to know it. So keep that in mind. This is just a first impressions, first time using this foundation kind of video. Um, but overall, gets a thumbs up from me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll link it down below or just shop it on Amazon, wherever. And thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.